right here in uh, G Nevada at the box proving grounds slash thumper section of the Mint 400 course. Next up is going to be Vegas Reno for us. When you have two days out here testing, it's really awesome. You get a lot done. Uh, so we're excited to see how much more speed we can find out of these two trucks. Well, we're getting better. We've been messing with the front, trying to make the front a little bit more compliant, and now we're going to play with the rear and uh, taking up speed. forward motion loss by being in the air. It sucks though, like you get into the race of the mid, like you can't even go that fast in the mid, like during the race, it's so chewed up. The morning has gone phenomenal. We instantly found a ton of comfort and speed with Wayne on the new race truck and indeed confirmed that, you know, the changes we made in the new one matched the old one. So our goal is to have two identical matching trucks. Either one's gonna be able to, to line up with the best of the best and, and get the job done. I'm Jason Coleman. Hey, what's up? I'm Marvin Muskan, and we're going for a ride. All right, ready? Yep. So Jason and Marvin are out in the truck uh, for Marvin's first ride. You know, at first glance, he was pretty excited about it and then a little scared about it because who wouldn't be? But I think he's gonna get out of there and uh, dude, you never know, he might be a cager after this. Oh my gosh, that is so sick. I know there's sometimes you brake really, really hard and like let off and they grab, kind of like a dirt bike, kind of like yeah. a I'm guessing it into the compression kind of like to double in make sure you don't hit it too hard and sometimes but but dude i mean i don't know how to, i don't know how to say really like i'm like speechless right now it's just uh yeah it's sick no nailed it well we'll do the bottle 1000 it'll be 1200 miles this year it'll take us 24 hours we'll split it two or three drivers but i mean but the how long, long at the once? longest i've done that in the car is like 17 hours straight Not like non-stop yeah <laughs> jeez hit stops <laughs> yeah stop for fuel and that's it <laughs> That's rough, right? Oh, it's huge. Go, yeah, right? go walk out there. Yeah. They're huge. I mean, they're like, you know, just like you walk on a supercross track, the whoops are massive. Like, same yeah. thing. For a, this is a full wheel vehicle. You can feel it sometimes. It sucks the whole truck up. Like, these are 40 inch tires, and it's. Dude, obviously. I mean, we're not going to go on the roof. I mean, like. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, I a, a couple of times, like, I, I closed my eyes a little bit. <laughs> Turns yeah, firm. Hey, but it's crazy because when you are on the road, you know, as soon as it does that, you feel the suspensions. Yeah. You know, it's really sensitive. I could tell. Yeah. But obviously, you guys are never on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Update is four o'clock, still going. I want to see if we can have more. It's a lot better than it was this morning. We're getting, I'd say, even ride all around that I like. But overall, uh, I think we're going fast and it's getting there. So yeah, they're, they're probably doing 98 through there. How do they? It, it can do 115, it's geared to do 115 like on the pavement or like, on the lake bed. Yeah. But these holes are so big the amount of time that the tire's actually off the ground, it revs up so fast and hits the rev limiter. So by the time the tire comes yeah. back down, it's instantly back off the ground. It's really the big, the slower speed stuff to where it'll rev up real quick while you're in the air and then come back down and drop 50 mile an hour. That's when it's just like, whoa. <laughs> Like 
you go in the corner, you just want to get it hard. There's a massive difference from what I from this morning to now. I'm like, oh yeah. I don't know how to do this.